In today's video, I am simply blown away by the quality of the DJI Mavic 3. So we're deep into the winter months now in England and the DJI Mavic 3, as we know, can take some fantastic photos and videos. What about in these freezing conditions? Well, before we head off to showcase this, let's just look now at this sunrise. So battery temperature is on, look at this sunrise, but just hover in place about 30 seconds and that will go off and look at this. The attention to detail, dynamic range from this camera is outstanding. Look at this sunrise. In photos, we can produce a really nice JPEG and RAW photo. We've also got AEB photo as well to get that HDR photo. And coming from this, with that AEB bracket photo, you can get some amazing results. Just starting off the day, look at the video and photo we can get. The sunrise is outstanding, the saturation, everything is brilliantly balanced without any color grading. It's perfection. Okay, a bit of fun. So a few of you asked, can you crash this drone? What's the obstacle avoidance like? I'm doing a full video on this now, but I'm just gonna get the drone pointing directly at me and the car. And as you fly it at you, as you can see here, just in the red circle, as it flies towards you, it automatically just swerves around you in a cinematic style. As you can see here again, as it's flying towards the car, it'll just drift off away. Now a sideways shot, so it's sideways direct into the car and it automatically is swerving away from it and going just in front of it and then avoiding that pole as well. Again here, another sideways shot, trying to get it into this lamppost and it won't let me, it just swerves. And again, you can see it just goes forward and then swerves around it on its own accord. Now if I push the left stick all the way to the left, full speed, you can see as it's approaching the lamppost, it will break and then swerve automatically. Now a little bit smoother, and as it's going towards it to get this nice cinematic pan shot, it will automatically just drift around it. And you're able to still get good video because it's nice and smooth, it's not erratic. Now if I go head on into this lamppost, you'll see here it'll just swerve around it. So that's really good to see. And this example now, what about two different obstacles so it's a bit further back as it's going towards this first sign where it says pay here it swerves around that it notices the lamppost swerves again and then carries its path this is brilliant especially that side sensor which is something we were lacking on the DJI Air 2S Okay, so in this fantastic, stunning location with lots of ice on the ground, get the Mavic 3 out of this case, put these gloves on, and then the quality that comes from this drone is absolutely mind-blowing. It is fantastic. All these shots in 5.1K. I'm using the H265 codec in normal and the results are spectacular. Now, none of these shots are color graded. This is just straight out of the drone. I may have changed the exposure, but that is it. And look at the quality, look at the attention to detail in the skies, the landscape. It is unbelievable. In this area now, the grass and the sand is all frozen and the drone produces what it is only can be described as some bizarre, strange formation of this ice. Look at this. As we now climb and increase altitude, the quality still. And this is what you get with that 5.1K Hasselblad micro four thirds sensor. It is amazing. Even in pretty poor conditions, low lights, that is the difference between a one inch sensor and a sensor like you get on the Mini 2. In photos, this is a photo and then we can now crop in using that 5.1K and still get brilliant results. This drone just amazes me every single time I fly it. We are limited on features at the moment with the Mavic 3, but the features we have access to are just breathtakingly good. The footage out of this drone is just incredible. Just make sure you're watching this in 4K quality to appreciate just how good it is.
this drone is only going to get better as well in January and February when we see this firmware update to unlock the rest of this drone. Sure, it should have been ready on release, but how good is this drone going to be once we've got them features? The quality from the camera and the video are unmatched from any other folding drone. And this is the biggest selling point and why it's worth this money. So over there in the distance is the power plant at Hesham and we can use the explore mode to explore over there to see what it's like maybe. And we can see now the quality isn't great. It's a really foggy, misty day, but we can zoom in all the way from one times up to 28 times and look how we now can zoom in and just how close we can get. And then as we punch out, we then remember just how far away we actually were. The explore mode is a brilliant function. What about FPV mode? I'll do a full video on this, but FPV on here is a lot of fun with the fast motors, the responsiveness. This drone is so responsiveness and twitchy, a slight move on that controller stick and it's boom, it's gone. It's away, away in the wind. It is so responsive and fast. You can see here the three cars on the right hand side. As we now open up into sports mode, I begin to catch them up. It's only because I ran out of distance, but believe me, this drone, look at the speed in the bottom left hand corner at just how fast it is. It is an animal. The drone isn't perfect yet. We have a couple of months left until it should reach perfection. But what we have so far is just incredible. The camera quality from this drone is the biggest reason why you should go out and buy this drone. It's the best drone I've ever flown. And every time I fly it, I'm reminded by that. I hope you enjoyed that video guys, it's been brilliant producing this video to show you how good this drone is. All the music used was from Soundstripe and I'll see you all very soon, bye bye.